can even whoops I just touched something I shouldn't have touched I leaned on a rock it wasn't a clean rock it had some stuff on it whoops so yeah there's the end of the cave as far excuse me as far as I know since I'm by myself I'm not gonna try any harder there are some people who try really hard to get to the end of the cave they call it pushing the cave but usually it's better to do something like that in small groups so if you get yourself stuck you can rescue each other thing about uh, like if you're walking around along the roads or whatever you know they sometimes put big boulders along the road to make sure people can't go off the road but those boulders are already resting flat on the ground they're pretty stable these rocks they're not really resting in a stable position at all some of them could be on the verge of rolling downhill so it's a lot more dangerous in here than out along the roads. At least in here, nobody's going to run me over. A lot of cities have a culture of speed, higher priority than safety. So, yeah, you better stay out of everybody else's way. They'll run you over. Anyway, that's cultural specific, though. Some cultures, they value their lives. They try to be safe. I'm still standing on a pile of breakdown rock. Uh, wow. Man, I wish I had a better camera, because I could tell you the ceiling here is like dozens of feet tall. Huge cave. We'd like to show the shape, especially down here. I'm almost near the bottom. The actual bottom of the cave would be solid rock. Instead, I'm walking on breakdown rock and sand. So who knows how far down the actual floor of the cave is. You can see the floor here is kind of neat. But it's also been trampled a little bit. Oops. Whoa. Yikes. Yeah, some of these rocks are loose. So I take a new caver in here. I'm like, don't forget to hold on to the handrail. It's obviously, that's a joke. Some people get the joke. Some people are like, duh, there's no handrail. Yeah, thanks for pointing that out. Good job. Anyway. Looks like there's a way up to the side here. If I can find a way up here, I'm going to take it. Not convinced it's going to be particularly safe or productive. But as long as I'm here. Wow. Yeah, there is kind of a ledge up here. Wow. Let's see if I can get up here alive. And back down alive. Oh, this is cool. Hold on. Let me look at the rock here. See how, like, the bottom layer is really smooth. Then up here, it's full of uh, voids. Like it was filled with gas bubbles when it was solidifying. Wow, it's cool up here, but I don't know about this. I want to get up here, but the floor is sketchy. There's like loose rocks everywhere. I definitely need to be careful. 
Oops. Yeah. There's definitely loose rocks up here. I need to be careful where I put my foot. Okay. Wow. It's nice and flat up here. Boy. Yeah, my camera's not going to do it justice, but I'm way up here. Look at this. Here's a hole in the floor. Oh, this piece of junk. My flashlight just glitched. All right, anyway. Wow, look at interesting patterns on these rocks here. I think it's from dirt coming from above. Let's see if I can find a way through here. I want to be gentle in the cave. I don't want to trample anything. Oh yeah, this is neat. All right, so looks like there's a way back there, but I think I'm near the end. It's not like there's a side tube or something. But before I worry about that, I'm gonna sit down on the floor so I can safely look at the ceiling because there's mineral deposits on the ceiling. There are mineral. So look at this. It's a cool white spot there. Oops, let me turn on my camera. Oops. Oh, come on. Oh, that's funny. My flashlight just glitched out on me. There we go. What the heck? All right, I'm gonna have to pause the video, switch flashlight. Oh, there we go. Wow. Ah, oh, what the heck? There we go. So look at the, oh, come on. Jeez, you pay. But look at this. All over the ceiling here, there's various mineral deposits. That's kind of cool. But yeah, let me go on to the other side of this big rock here. See if there's anything behind it. No, looks like a dead end. All right, never mind. Had to check. But wow, look at the ceiling here. This is really pretty. Very wet, I'm not gonna touch it. I bet it's soft, like wet sand at the beach. So I could like make a fingerprint imprint. I don't wanna do that, definitely. I wanna leave it as is, oops, as much as possible. Maybe that's why there's no bats in here. Maybe it's too wet for bats. Of course, it is kind of early in the year. It's like mid-October, so I don't think the bats are hibernating yet. I think outside there are plenty of bugs for them to eat. Hopefully they're out there eating it at all. I don't think there are any mosquitoes around here, but there are other bugs, that's for sure. I'm trying to adjust my knee pad. My knee pad slipped down. I got new knee pads. I'm still getting used to these knee pads. Oh, come on. Shoot. Piece of junk. All right, hang on. I'm gonna have to switch flashlights for real.